Greetings everyone, this is Ryan. In this video, we're going to install Speedify on a Raspberry Pi so that we can use the much cheaper version of the uh, bonding software uh, to into our router. Um, if we just put it on our uh, OpenWRT routers, um, that costs a little bit extra and that wasn't one of those uh, amounts of money that I wanted to spend and this this is just as cheaper out and I already had a an account I'm gonna assume that you have looked up or know how to uh, install Raspberry Pi uh, OS software into your Raspberry Pi this is a Raspberry Pi 4 that I'm using a 4b and we're gonna go from there we're just going to start installing the uh, software, the Speedify, into the Raspberry Pi. So I'm going to open up a terminal. And uh, I'm using uh, a software that Raspberry Pi has. It's called the Raspberry Pi Connect. Uh, this allows me to connect over the internet to my Raspberry Pi, and this way I can show you screen share with uh, with you. I suggest that you use this. Um, it's uh, it can be used in any browser. Uh, I use Chrome uh, almost exclusively, and um, and I, I've been able to use it on my phone and on my uh, tablets. It's not the greatest. Uh, there are some hiccups, um, but like, you know, not being able to use a keyboard or anything like that. But I am able to move around into the software. So I like it. Um, if you're trying to do this, probably all you need for the Raspberry Pi is a uh, HDMI uh, mini connection for the Raspberry Pi to a uh, full size. Uh, HDMI connection to either a TV screen or a computer screen that's capable of that. So we're getting started. We've got the terminal open and I'm going to make sure that our Raspberry Pi is up to date. So we'll type in this command sudo well, apt update. So space apt space update and it's going to go through and check for updates to the Raspberry Pi software all packages are up to date but just in case uh, if you did have a package that needed to be updated you will type in this there's several different uh, versions of this command but we'll type this command it's sudo apt space in between and then space DIST dash upgrade. So now it's going to go through, look through the packages to see what needs to be upgraded. Uh, nothing, and it also auto removed things that it need to, needed to. Nothing. Mine's already up to date. I've already done that. So now we're going to uh, type in sudo apt clean, and it cleans up anything that it needs to. Uh, in the OS that doesn't need to be there. So I would suggest that you uh, reboot uh, at this point uh, with the command sudo reboot. This gets everything fresh started and we can move on. So I'm going to assume that you've done that. You can pause right here and we're going to move on to the next command. So some of these I'm going to copy and paste into the res uh, into this command line because it's a lot to type in and I don't want this to uh, go forever so I'm going to control C from where I've got the command set out and I'm going to remote uh, paste to remote and we've got bash dash C and then quotation money symbol parentheses w get space dash q capital o dash https colon 
forward slash forward slash get dot speedified dot com and the quotation marks again and then I'm going to hit enter and what this does is it automatically looks for the right version of speedify to load into the Pi. so this is going to take a few minutes um, I'm trying to decide if I should fast forward through this point um, but uh, just I think maybe we'll let it go to see how long this is going to take you uh, in this video. So uh, don't worry about the failed to stop Speedify service. Uh, that's because I do not have Speedify on here, but it always checks to stop and uh, if it's running. Right now in this version is 15.1.1-12210. That is the most up to date. Uh, and it is done. That's pretty quick. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is we are going to turn off the hardware acceleration. Um, sometimes when Speedify opens, there's a little bit of a glitch in the programming, which is easily uh, fixed by minimizing and reopening the uh, window. But we're going to turn that off. Again, I'm not 100%. I am not a guru with Raspberry Pi, but uh, I'm not sure what it means by turning this off for Speedify, but it fixes a problem that I had before. So we've typed in this command, which is also located down in the description, and we enter it in, and it turns off the hardware accel acceleration. So now, looky here, we have Speedify popping up, already running. And I'm going to close this out just for a minute because there's still some things that we need to do. Um, probably the next thing that we need to do, um, if you're going to share this with your router, so your router is not doing the uh, networking for the internet. The router is doing your networking for your devices that you're connecting up to it. Your cameras, um, you know, the Mevo cameras and things like that. So what we're doing is, uh, I see this warning that's come up. Um, that just, the a AAC plugin is missing. AAC CC playback is unlikely to work. That's just a video uh, warning. I don't plan on using this Pi for anything else. Um, so you can ignore that. That's not a big deal. Uh, the next thing we're going to do, like I was talking about, is enable the Ethernet port, which is how you connect the router to the Raspberry Pi. So we'll copy uh, our command and paste it in, as you can see. sudo nano forward slash etc forward slash speedify forward slash speedify dot con f so I'll enter that and what this is is your configuration for the speedify and there are a few things that we want to change so the only thing we want to change is is we're going to enable share on speedify to other devices by changing the enable share equals zero to one so we'll change that delete the zero and then we'll arrow down to the next which is the share interface the share interface that we want to use is eth eth zero eth zero is the uh, network port the um, ethernet that uh, you usually use uh, the paired connection out. It's not the USB, but it's the uh, Ethernet connection. I can't remember the name of it off the top of the head, off the top of my head, but I do know that the location is ETH0. So now there's nothing else we need to change into this. Uh, some people would ask uh, using the Raspberry Pi as a router itself and using the Wi Fi off the router, off of the Raspberry Pi. You could, but the thing about that is, is I don't know how powerful that 
uh, Raspberry Pi uh, Wi-Fi signal can be. I know how powerful my uh, Slate AX 1800 is. So there's nothing else on here that you need to change. The next command that we do is you take your keyboard and hit Control X and you want to save modify buffer. You type in Y for yes and then you hit and the file name it's going to write to. Don't change anything. Hit enter and you're done with that. So now we've enabled the share and then we're going to restart our uh, Speedify service. So all those changes that we made will go into place. So I will copy this command into the, the command line. It's sudo service speedify dash sharing restart. So what this does is it disconnects speedify and then reconnects it once again. Uh, the next thing that we're going to do is we want to launch Speedify uh, on boot. So it will automatically start. Um, so if you notice up in the right hand corner up here, I, my Speedify has already started. Uh, but this is what it's going to look like. It's already there and booted up, but it's currently logged out. I haven't... Uh, logged in with my account yet and we'll, we'll get to that so but I want you to type this command on this command line to launch speedify on on reboot or boot and we'll paste it in there it's forward slash usr forward slash share forward slash speedify forward slash speedify underscore cli and then start up connect or yes yeah, start up connect on and start up connect is one word space on and then we'll hit enter and it'll run some commands and that'll be it the next thing that we want to do is start the user interface for speedify which is what this little symbol up here is so this is a long command and of course it'll be uh, in there uh, in the description for you to copy so, and then we'll paste it in here it's pretty long it's uh, mkdir space uh, dash p space um, I forgot what that little squiggly line is but it's just above the tab p you shift and hold that uh, dot config forward slash auto start all one word forward slash space to end uh, symbols space CP space forward slash USR forward slash share forward slash speedify UI forward slash uh, com dot speedify dot speedify UI dot auto start dot desktop space little squiggly line again forward slash dot config forward slash auto start forward slash so there it goes. It is now in there and I've already had it in there. So we want to, uh, there was something else and this is some sort of command for notification desktop notifications, uh, that doesn't automatically, um, happen with speedify, but this command, uh, you might want to put in there. Uh, it's, uh, this is all off the, uh, speedify, uh, website uh, there uh, it's all off of their uh, knowledge base that they have on their website at speedify.com and you and like I said uh, this is let's see I'll look at it real quick so what this does uh, is just helps you with uh, notifications and to the uh, Speedify or, uh, to the Raspberry Pi screen if you ever want to see it, watch it uh, uh, on my speed on my Raspberry Pi. I'm getting tongue tied on my Raspberry Pi. I put a touch screen on it so I can see what's going on. Usually, when you do all this, you don't even have to touch this. Uh, once you boot up the Raspberry Pi, I've been very it, it, it works. It just works. But I like to see. Uh, I like to use this to interface in to see what my speeds are like at the location that I'm at. So, but this is just a uh, something that we use 
for notification, probably disconnect notifications, things like that. So it's already on here. I've put it on here. There's no updates. It's already the newest version. And now we are done with installing Speedify. The only thing you need to do next is log in to Speedify. So I'm going to go up here. Oh, by the way, Speedify is located, the, the program, if you're going to, is located right here in your internet portion of your programming. So you go to the little Raspberry Pi symbol, go to internet, and click on Speedify. And you go through, and uh, I'm not going to enable parent share. Uh, you can. Uh, it gives you more uh, chances for connections. Uh, we're going to continue without parent share, and I'm going to sign in. We're going to skip this part that for um, as far as you being able to see what I do. It's pretty self-explanatory. So I'm going to sign in, and we'll fast forward past signing in. So I had a little trouble with signing in, and I'm going to do it again. But it it uh, once I do it twice, it recognizes it. I, I'm not sure why. So as you notice, I'm connected up, and there is our uh, notifications that Speedify is connected, and you're ready to start streaming. That's what that last command that we did uh, does. So I've got one more to. Con I've got three connections. Uh, I've got to enable the third one. Hang on, just a second. And I've enabled the third one, and you'll see it pop up. So I've got. Um, my Wi-Fi connected, my home Wi-Fi, my T-Mobile Wi-Fi, and my Verizon Wi-Fi. So what's great, the other thing about using this is it's very simple to connect to open Wi-Fi using your Pi. Um, and so say you're at a ballpark that has Wi-Fi, uh, you can connect up your Pi and that'll be a third connection along with your other connections that you're using Speedify with as a, you know, another, uh, you know, another way. It's very easy to do if you have connection, um, if, if you know the Wi-Fi, if they have it um, blocked or whatever, or have it password protected or it's open, you can connect up to this this way. I have not tried to use this on the captive portals i'm sure you can get into it um, i have not been anywhere to where i can um, practice getting on a captive portal um, because the one place that i need to do it at is very locked down and i have not been able to try this because i never had um, a screen or a computer keyboard to do this with the Raspberry Pi. Now I do. Hopefully I'll get a chance to do that soon and, and do a video on that. So here we are. We're connected with the Speedify. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have questions, please reach out and ask, and uh, I will do my best to answer it. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And uh, I do have affiliate links uh, these are. This is all equipment that I use and equipment that I approve of. Uh, nothing is given to me, uh, everything I buy, but if you do click the links and you buy from the links from Amazon, I do get a little uh, kickback from that, and that helps me continue on with the videos and buying new equipment. So, uh, once again, thanks for watching. And we'll see you on the next one.